Yo, what up is Don? Family here. We are the Soul Brothers. Brothers. Who are you? You please are. Leave your, please leave your full uh, first, last, first, middle, <laughs> last name, social security number in the comments. And your uh, credit card so number. So we can properly identify each and every one and of you. And the month and this. year of the expiration date. Yes, and your and mother's the maiden name. You know. Okay, we're gonna do a quick versus video. Actually, I I, I wasn't gonna do this, but actually, a lot of you guys asked for it for some reason. It's a good one. So I was like, oh, I didn't think of it. You know, these are two top top tier casual shoes. I mean, one's a runner. This is not a runner though. You know, I, mean, I see no runners running in this. No, you know, or serious runners. You know. Yeah, serious runners do not mess with the ultra ultra boost. Yes. Not that I know of. I mean, because they say it's too soft. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, here it is. It's the Yeezy 350 V2 versus the Ultra Boost. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, I did walk in them, but let me walk in them again. One is hella wide. I mean, not really. No, I'm not saying the fit. Oh. I'm just saying it's just a wide ass shoe, and then the other one's a narrow ass shoe. Like you couldn't. They're on a complete opposite spectrums of width, as far as the sh the actual shoe is. Um. He's All doing right. the, the test right now. No, I already did the, the test. Two on one. I just I just need to refresh my memory. Yeah, yeah. You know. Sometimes you gotta do that. Anyways, all right. So let's get it started. Uh, this is just gonna be a perf uh, not a prefer a casual like um, what's more comfortable. Uh, Which one uh, versus more better? video? You know. So outsole, it should be okay. They should be both. They should both be uh, pretty durable, I believe. So there you go. That's that. And uh, okay now. Full length boost full versus length boost. full length boost. Okay. Which one is more full lengthy? Um, I guess the ultra boost is because right. this is caged. But um, does this have a, a strobo board? Oh no, actually, nope. oh I didn't know that. Yeah, no. The ultra boost is actually not, huh? You're right on top of that, but boost. Yeah, I didn't know that. All right, so um, they feel really similar to be honest. Um, actually, like the same. Uh, maybe the Yeezys, I can feel it a little bit more in the forefoot, but it's really, really similar. Um, but uh, in the heel though, the Yeezys, it feels like your foot is sinking in. Alright, but then uh, this part doesn't really like budge. Um, but then uh, in the Ultra Boost, it's your foot, your, your heel sinks in, but not as much because also the boost in the heel is compressing. Alright, so um, I don't know like how it feels. Like, or how to explain it, it was that, right. I don't know. But like, it, it sinks in here and then it sinks in a little bit, but it, it compresses more in the, in the heel, you know, in the Ultra Boost. So uh, what do I like better? I actually like both. Mm, I, think the, I think the Yeezys, I don't know. Yeah, I guess a tie. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, the upper, you have Prime Knit versus Prime Knit. Which one is more Prime Knitty? Uh, I like the Ultra Boost better. Mm. Uh, if you guys uh, didn't know, I didn't know there actually is a lot of underlay in the toe area. It's actually a pretty supportive upper. Yeah, it's actually it doesn't stretch at all in the toe. Mm -hmm. um, and but then in the ultra boost, it's pure prime knit and it stretches a lot. If you guys can see, um, I feel like that's more comfortable. I like that better uh, versus um, this. So it's still soft though, very pliable, but it doesn't stretch. Which but if I you like. want something that's a little like sometimes I prefer to have something a little more even if I'm just walking around casually just a little bit of support exactly like like uh, I love the alpha bounce and it's still a soft upper but it's like a little more supportive than like a pure boost yeah so there's that so I'll get to give the <clears> materials <throat> to the ultra boost mm -hmm. uh, now moving on the fit the fit I feel like uh, I like they're both good uh, very narrow I feel like the Yeezys are way more narrow though for some reason um, and you have to go up half a size for the Yeezys. Right. Well, I did. I did a size 8 and it fits, fits me perfectly. Mm -hmm. So, um, fit, I would say... Um, and you can go down half a size in the Ultra Boost. Oh, yeah, yeah. I went down half a size in the Ultra Boost and the Yeezys, I went up half a size. Mm -hmm. So, um, but after you do that, then the fit is good in both of the shoes. Unless you have a wide foot because keep in mind, the Ultra Boost is pretty narrow. Yeah. So, you might want to go true to size yeah. if you have a Barney Rubble foot. Exactly. Look, dude, look at how much wider. It's crazy. Look at how much wider the Yeezys are, guys. It's crazy. That's, that's crazy. But um, overall, what's more comfortable? <clears throat> I feel like the Ultra Boost is a little bit more comfortable for me. Ooh, take that, hype beast. You no. Know? But, uh, but still. Put that in your pipe and the smoke The Yeezys it. are really, really comfortable. I did not expect it when I got these. But, um, Which one want to look a more better? 
fucking Ultra Boost. Ultra Boost. Yeah, the Yeezys look weird. Um, High Beast, take a seat. It looks really wide, and when you look at it from, it's really wide. And when you wear, I don't know, it's, you can only wear black black pants with these, right? No, you can wear a nice blue jean. No, I don't think so. It doesn't look good with this. You can this. wear a blue jean. You can wear a short with like uh, lime green socks. Oh, yeah. Tube yeah. socks. Yeah. You could do that. Yeah. Um, you could even wear that with a suit. A nice uh, Tom Ford suit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tailored to your liking, of course. Yes. Uh, you could do whatever you want, really. Yeah. So um, the Ultra Boost is 180 bucks. This is 220 but not really because you're probably going to uh, uh, buy it for resale. But if you do get one for uh, like off a of confirmed or on a site or you have access to bots, yes, they're two twenty. Yes, uh, very expensive. But it, the Ultra Boost is not cheap either. Yeah, so I would say the Ultra Boost is a little bit more. All hype aside, you would go with Ultra Boost. Yes, for just for comfort. Yeah, but Yeezy is not far behind because I Yeezy is actually a really comfortable shoe too. Yeah. So there you go. It's interesting because the V one I tried. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it wasn't like insanely comfortable. Really? Nowhere near the Ultra Boost. Yeah. So I think they stepped it up. Maybe. I've literally tried. I have a pair of zebras that I put my right foot into once on carpet. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't really give you give you a review too much on that. But it felt better than the V ones. Yeah. So that's it. Ultra Boost for the win. Catch you guys next time. Later. Peace.